Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noting. In this episode, I will be showing you three different ways we can generate uh, something that looks like a fungus using stretch of nodes in Blender. All right, so the first one, uh, I mean, for all three, you can see it's kind of creating this kind of like a mushroom shape. Some of them doesn't have the bottom part, doesn't have the stem, but the idea is to make this kind of dome shapes. This is uh, like more like a parametric way to generate uh, a geometry instead of procedural. With procedural, you might start with uh, something and then you extrude it, extrude it, and then extrude scale, and then until you create a mushroom. But this method, um, yeah, it might be something that you might find in the in the CAD kind of 3D modeling package. So. The easiest one is actually this one, the one that's using curve, and you simply loft it into a mushroom. So this is a bunch of curves, and I bring it into stretch of nodes as objects in, and I'm applying the matrix, interpolating the NURBS curve, and then using NURBS lofting or surface from curves. I can evaluate the surface and create this mushroom. Although I I do find this uh, the cyclic is a little bit it's a little bit off. I was expecting the cyclic to go this way. I don't know. Uh, maybe there's a way to flip the surface. But this is one type of mushroom. And the second one is this guy. This is the one where I'm using just simply a, use a cylinder. And I simply uh, play around with this meridian meridian profile to get a mushroom shape. It's a little bit unusual that this actually works, uh, but it works. Cylinder nodes is actually really powerful for that. I should have made also the stem, but the in this case I just leave it like that. Just make the top part. And then there's another way where we uh, where I use three different circle with the middle one being randomized and I simply join all the curve and then kind of lofting it as well so this one is probably slightly more interesting it's not it's not super difficult, uh, but it's uh, you can do a lot. So it's kind of like a, this, like a making like a like a lamp shape. I think the lamp shape itself is probably based on the mushroom or fungus. So this definitely can be improved. Like I mean, the bottom part can have some details, but the shapes is like a basic fungus. And three different ways you can do it in Spreadshop. Like I said, this is the parametric way to generate a fungus. If you want to make something that's uh, more procedural, you can use nodes based system like a uh, SOR car, where you extrude, 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 extrude. And actually, Spreadshop can do extrusion as well. It's just a uh, slightly different. I mean, Spreadshop can do this as well, but you know, you make a mushroom shape that way. So, yeah, a couple of ways you can generate mushroom using uh, using Spreadshop nodes. Uh, this is the basic one, basic fungus. Definitely, I'll try to improve this in the future, but uh, hopefully, you get something from this. Thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.